All right, this kitty here is going to be a pus cam and an abscess. That's actually pretty hard, but this right here is quite fluctuant. And I hope it doesn't rupture when I'm not wearing a glove. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a pus cam. Pretty sure of it. This guy's very dehydrated. He's going to need a lot of work, but uh, that's where we're at for now. Okay, that's what it looks like beforehand. Oh, lift your head, kitty. Oh, oh that's just nasty. Okay. You're nasty. Cheap cage. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's squirting. Hey, look at you. Look what you're doing. What am I doing? You're getting it all over this. Ew. It smells like cacao. Ooh, that's nasty. Where's your crackers? Oh, give me a bowl. We'll do soup. You got it, hon? I gotta go get some other ones. Mm -hmm. Oh. Does that cube want a cracker? Well, she knows what we're going to have to do to her dog, so she just needs to drop it off and sign all the paperwork, and I don't know if I can tell her, but she hasn't heard already. Maybe she'll just bring them back in the morning uh, and drop them off. That's fine. Now I'm hoping that stuff over the top of the head will also leak out of that same hole. Oh come on, you're a mom. You've had you had babies and changed diapers and stuff. That can't be that bad. <laughs> Just got the worst look ever. I must get my fingers in here. Later. Looks like it's pretty much. Put your hands underneath them. Underneath his chin. Oh, as he licked it up. Ugh. I actually just need to put one good drain in here.
<laughs> Alright, the good news is his head uh, his head deflated. Mm-hmm. It's all squishy. All right. I'm going to put a drain in. Give it a squeeze. Because I suck over top of the head. Yeah, I think it's all out of there. A5E pulse. Of course. Strong. This one? Mm -hmm. Very strong to. <laughs> that was up before anything else. I would always say I'd rather it be aged than leukemia. Like that. Yeah, On an outside cat, I'd rather not be any. Right. Well, <laughs> and that and it lessens his healing abilities. Yeah. Tremendously. Kind of age, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next That's it. Bindi for check in room two. To make this story more complicated, or this guy's prognosis more complicated, he is positive for feline infectious. Oh, God. FIV. So, I'm sorry, the smell's getting to me, so I'm trying not to talk too much. Keep mouth closed. You might taste what you're smelling. Oh, you're a bad kid over here. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are FIV positive. I'm going to go ahead and support this guy as best we can. Um, but, uh, wow. Anyway, feline immune deficiency virus, it's just not a good good prognosis. But uh, hopefully we'll send this guy back home and he'll be kept out of other harm's way. It's bad enough that he has the virus, but the possibility of him spreading it to somebody else is always a no-no. So I recommend that these animals be kept away from other cats and kept indoors and indoors only. And uh, we'll, have, we'll have to wait and see what Dad's going to do. He does say he have an out, does have an outdoor enclosure. Hopefully he'll use it for this cat. But uh, anyway, that is a lot of damage, okay, for one bite wound. And if you weren't FIV positive, a lot of this damage might not have happened. Okay, all right. So that's where we're at for now. That's the end of this pus cam. Out.